Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be talking about thermostats. We'll show you real quick how they operate. They're pretty simple. And then uh, we'll answer the question I get quite commonly, why don't we remove them and take them out? So first off, a thermostat is mechanically operated with a spring, as you can see here. And so there is no electronics to it. It's uh, designed basically to open and close according to the temperature, and that's uh, what moves the spring. So here I've sped this up. I put some boiling water in the cup, and you can see it expanding here as I uh, hold it in the hot water. And so this is sped up twice. Uh, it takes a, a minute to see it on camera, but you can see it uh, slowly growing, and uh, especially when you take it out, watch it here as it shrinks back. It's pretty easy to see. And so that's basically how it's operating. As it gets hot, it expands and opens and allows the coolant to go into the engine. On the two-valve Mustang GT, it's located right here. And on the 32-valve engines, it's down below the car. Uh, here's a video that I did as I pulled one out. It has an O-ring in front of it. And so... Uh, I have some videos on this, and I'll put the link to that in the video description on how to uh, operate this. But uh, basically, the thermostat is closed until the engine gets to operating temperature, and then it opens up to help with the cooling. Uh, you'll see as well as you're driving that uh, it is nice and cool as you first start the car and drive it, and eventually it'll get up to the normal operating temperature. Okay, so let's talk about some reasons why you do not want to remove your thermostat. So the first question I would ask, I'll ask it this way. Would you want to delete your radiator? And of course, that's obvious. No, if you delete your radiator, the car is going to overheat. Removing your thermostat actually has that same effect, and here's why. If you take this out, the coolant will flow too fast. Okay, so this actually restricts some of your coolant flow. And so if you take this out... The coolant would flow so fast, it would go through your radiator, and it would not have time for the air to pull the heat out of the coolant. So your radiator is the heat exchanger. As the air passes through, it's cooling down. Uh, the air is cooling down that coolant. So if you take this out, imagine if you're the coolant, you're you know scalding hot, you come to be cooled down in the radiator, and before you have a chance to get cooled off in the radiator, you're back into the engine again. Okay, so that's, that's one reason for sure. You actually want to slow the flow with a radiator, uh, with your thermostat, so that the uh, coolant actually has time to, be, to have the heat exchange through it. Okay, the next thing to consider is the car's computer system. It's also taking measurements of how hot the coolant is. So, for example, on this car, right there... That is a temperature sensor for the coolant. And so the car's computer is taking readings of how hot the engine is and how hot the coolant is. And it's making fuel trim adjustments and uh, helping the car to maintain and regulate its temperature. So uh, basically, if the car sensed that it was too uh, cold, it's going to keep changing fuel trims to try to help the car uh, heat up. So it's going to possibly lean the car out in order to help the engine get warm until it's time. So you're going to be fighting with that. And on newer cars, uh, most likely you could have the car go into limp mode because it would say something's wrong here. So you could potentially put your car into limp mode by removing the thermostat because it's not operating the way that it should. Okay, so we talked about uh, removing the thermostat could cause the engine to overheat because it doesn't have time to cool down. And also, it could also cause it to overcool when the car first starts up. Um, once you get uh, the car running at uh, full capacity and you stop at a traffic light, then it would probably flip-flop and start to overheat again. Again, because you don't have uh, any time for that air to be cooling down in the radiator, and so it's just passing right through. And so the next thing you know, your car could start to overheat for that reason too. Okay, something we always talk about with these supercharged cars is uh, the detonation happening. Okay, so basically if you don't want the fuel to pre-ignite. Um, and so if your engine starts to overheat because you've removed the thermostat, that's another effect that you could have is uh, basically the engine's in an overheating condition. And so it starts to be so hot that fuel can pre-ignite uh, before it's supposed to. So that could cause engine damage. And we always talk about that under boost, but it could also be happening uh, just at a low speed because the car's overheating. That's what happens when cars do overheat. 
is they start to have engine knock is the octane isn't sufficient enough and so the fuel pre-ignites. So a lot of this is really important in the summer. This is the only real reason people would be trying to remove their thermostats. And in the winter, it could cause even worse effects because if you didn't have a thermostat to help block the heat, because um, basically it will remain closed to keep the engine coolant in the engine until the engine heats up, and then it'll slowly open, and that allows it to go through the radiator. So um, in the winter, if you didn't have one of these at all, then you really wouldn't have an opportunity for the engine to warm up at all, and you'd be driving around on cold the entire time. Uh, so with that said, uh, engine oils and coolants, everything within the engine is designed to operate at a certain temperature. So uh, just think about it. When you first get in your car, you want it to warm up before you go hard on it. Okay, that's common sense. Uh, if you just decide to get right in your car and start beating on it, that's harder on the engine. It causes more engine wear. And um, depending on the engine, some engines... The pistons are going to expand at a different rate than the block because they're made of different metals and different materials, okay? And so you can potentially have your pistons expand before the block and cause some scarring issues and problems within the engine. So uh, simply put, you always want your car to warm up to proper operating temperature before you just get in it and start beating on it. So if you remove your thermostat and do start changing these parameters, it's not how the engine was designed and you could have some failures, some excessive wear, and things like that. Now, of course, there's people who are going to say, what are you talking about? I raced my car at the quarter mile strip, and I've taken my thermostat out and never had a problem. So, you know, maybe there are a few situations where you could get away with running no thermostat if you're going to run down a quarter mile track for, you know, short bursts, and that's it. Um, but you know, generally speaking, it's not a good idea. So you want to research the exact reason why you think you should be taking these out. Uh, sometimes as these seize, they see, they're going to seize um, in the, in the uh, open position. And so if it's open and letting coolant go through, you might say, my car's never warming up. And so um, you would have to remove this. And I have some videos on replacing the thermostats. I'll put in the video description. Um, but uh, sometimes you just need to take them out and they do uh, seize up and they need to be replaced. So they're not very expensive. Uh, but uh, again, these are all thermi thermally uh, driven. There is no electronics to it at all. It's just however hot it gets, it opens up. And however cold it gets, it closes back up depending on the thermostat itself. Uh, some people will go to, uh, for example, stock is a 180 degree thermostat uh, before it opens. And some people will go to 170. And so the, the, the idea is to try to get the engine to run a little bit cooler. But uh, the temperature should be about the same always for operating, depending on the, you know, your radiator and its uh, ratings and everything like that. So um, anyway, it's just something to think about when you're talking about radiators. Uh, it's something people always think, hey, I'm going to just take this out and uh, the car is going to run cooler and I can go faster with it and the engine won't heat up as much. That's not always the case. So just make sure uh, that you know about that before you do it. You can actually cause the car to overheat by removing the thermostat as the air doesn't have time to cool off uh, the coolant as it goes through the radiator. So anyway, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.